Yo guys, what is up? Max here in our Borderlands 3 video and today we're talking about my build and loadout for the Guardian Takedown. Now, before we get into that, this video is sponsored by BenQ. The folks over there sent me two monitors, one which I've been loving and using for the past three weeks and another one that I'm giving away to you guys. Now, the one that I'm giving away is their EW27 model. It is a 27-inch monitor with 75 hertz refresh rate built-in hdri technology built-in eye care and built-in speakers super super nice monitor and if you want to enter to win that the description will have all the details that you need but basically you're just going to like and retweet and follow uh, the accounts on the tweet below now the ew328 is a 4k monitor with hdri technology it is a 32 inch panel with 60 hertz refresh rate now this panel and monitor is very very nice it comes with hdri technology which i didn't know about before hdri technology basically detects the ambient light in the background around you and will adjust the saturation and the darkness and brightness levels uh, of the monitor and the scenes that you're watching so that they look the absolute best. Uh, it's really nice and it comes with two different HDRI presets so you can watch it in cinema mode or game mode or turn it off if that's your liking. It also comes with two uh, built-in speakers and a subwoofer. Now these are some of the best monitor speakers I've heard. Uh, it's great for listening to my favorite music. Now, I have been really loving this monitor for editing and playing video games uh, because of its great picture quality and its large size. It makes for easy uh, creation of thumbnails, really, really easy to use options for editing videos and great picture quality when playing video games. Now, one of my favorite options with this monitor is its built-in blue light eye care options. This monitor with its nice remote that it comes with, you're able to adjust the blue light levels to different presets while you're using the monitor. If you're someone who uses uh, computers just as much as I do, the long exposure of high blue light can hurt your eyes and being able to adjust the blue light down makes using this monitor for extended periods of time a lot nicer. If you are interested in buying the EW328 monitor or the EW27 monitor, the links to both will be in the description. And with that, guys, let's get into the video. Today, we are talking about my prep and build that I will be rocking when I go into the Guardian Takedown. Now, I thought this might be helpful for you guys because I'm basing the decisions that I'm making here off of the gameplay and details of the Guardian Takedown that have already been released. Now, take this video with a grain of salt because the build that I created just to do the Malawan takedown, I ended up never actually using after the Malawan takedown came out because of all the changes that I had to make. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be running in there for the first blind playthrough and my thought process behind that. Now, I'm going to be running Chaos Queen. This is a Phase Zerker Marble. If I have, if you haven't seen the video for Chaos Queen, it's an awesome Phase Zerker Marble. Link will be up there. But... Chaos Queen Amara uses things like the Chaosin, um, Anarchy, Recursion, Monarch, Reflux, and is a little bit of a slower moving build than Ricochet Witch, and I'm doing that for a reason. Now, what we know about the takedown, the new one is that there's going to be some areas with low gravity, there's going to be some jump puzzles and things like that, and I'm a little worried that we might be flinging ourselves off the map with Ricochet Witch or because of the low gravity, we're not gonna be able to maintain the damage that we would normally be able to get because of our move speed. So because of that, I'm gonna be rocking a Phase Zerker class mod. Now this could totally change. Ricochet Witch could be the absolute best build for it. But just because I wanna do it on my first try, my first completion, a uh, little bit worried about the low gravity. And so I will be rocking Chaos Queen now, um, not going to be going over the whole build, but I am going to be talking about some weapons. Now, the weapon balance comes out tomorrow. That means the health is going to be reduced of all enemies, and our Mayhem 6 weapons are likely going to get nerfed uh, or adjusted down to the appropriate health numbers or damage numbers that they should be doing with lower health, which is hopefully not going to reduce them too much. 
but I do think that things like the hyperfocus are going to be great again, which I'm super, super excited for. Now, of the gameplay that we've seen and the models of the enemies that we're going to be fighting, some of them look really, really large, which means there is a potential that they will have overlapping hitboxes. The hyperfocus and the conference call are extremely strong against enemies with overlapping hitboxes, and so I think these weapons possibly might shine in this event. Now, in terms of the final boss, I may be totally wrong, but I think obviously it's going to be Guardian Takedown. I think Shock is going to be uh, a big factor in the most common and best element to use. I think Radiation is also going to be really strong, um, and Radiation builds are going to work really, really well. I have... A weird feeling that the final boss is going to be health based, but maybe it'll just be shield. Uh, I don't think it'll be very armoried because our last takedown bosses were all armored. So for some reason, I think it's going to be like shield and health. That's my guess, but I genuinely don't know. And the fact that all of the enemies are going to be really, really big means that your high pellet count weapons uh are going to be awesome things like the monarch i think is going to be extremely strong because you're going to have these big enemies and the monarch projectiles will have a harder time missing the anarchy is going to be really strong if everything else comes down and the anarchy stays where it is if the anarchy is not nerfed uh the anarchy may be once again reigning absolutely supreme so i'm keeping a shock anarchy on me because i think this could possibly carry me through the takedown so super excited about that i got my back burners um and i am rocking some driver class mods just in case um it's not about or the gravity isn't too bad maybe i'll switch to driver but i, I will be going in with a phase zerker setup and then sandhawks uh, I got a 300 phase slam anarchy just in case we got some super beefy boys and uh, some different KOs. -ins. Now, I am super, super excited uh, for what's coming and the Guardian Takedown and all the new changes, guys. If you are... Um, oh, one small change is I, I added some points to do harm because the uh, 390 anoints aren't going anywhere. Um, do harm actually works really, really well with that because... Uh, it's going to count as action skill damage so if you are rocking any 390 weapons uh you're gonna get just a crap ton of damage out of the arm and gives us some even more damage to this build so recommend grabbing do harm instead of fast hands if you're going to be rocking any 390 anoints and then the rest of the build is uh exactly the same i hope you guys enjoyed i'm so excited for the new takedown that's coming out it's going to be freaking awesome guys i will catch you in the next one expect a ton of content out for me and i will be live streaming my first runs and runs all day of the new guardian takedown tomorrow live twitch.tv slash moxie guys have a good one cheers peace